Here at Simply Garden, with over 50 years of gardening experience, I believe in keeping things simple and productive while gardening in your own backyard. Good morning, everybody. Uh, once again, we're in a nice January cool down out here in Southern New Hampshire Zone 5. And uh, actually, I was uh, given a, the 2019 uh, challenge, 2018 review by Prairie Plant Girl. And uh, so I want to do that, uh, give you some uh, thoughts and some questions that were put out to me and some goals for next year. So we're going to do that. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and feed our birds because uh, I love feeding the birds. It's something we do year round. And um, I think it's important to thank the birds for what they do as far as keeping down the insects. I don't know if you folks like feeding birds, but I'll tell you what, I definitely think having birds around reduces your um, pest because they do eat a lot of insects when it's warm out, of course. But uh, but right now, the, the, I'll interview you. You're going to yeah. My I'll daughter's actually you. holding the phone here, and Whoops. she's why well, well, I do this year. I don't even read the writing, but the uh, I think the first question was uh, best crop of 2018. Best crop of 2018, definitely the best crop of 2018 would have been my potatoes. I mean, I uh, actually mm -hmm. had 100 percent um, germination. I uh, used the Garden Alive fertilizer for uh, for root crops. And I tell you, it was, it was amazing. Um, I got 150 pounds out of, uh, I probably planted probably, what, seven pounds of potatoes? Seed potatoes, 150 pounds. That's not a bad return to investment there. Um, that was a great, that's the best thing. Um, and what about your worst? My worst is my Brussels sprouts. Total failure. I don't know what, what went wrong. Um, I read somewhere organic to use uh, blood meal, but ever since I started doing that, it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to pull, you know, produce as much uh, nodules on the on the stalk. So we'll go back to this good old regular organic fertilizer this year and uh, see what happens there. Okay, let's let's see here. Biggest challenge of 2018, and I know what you're going to say, so be nice. Yes, my uh, fruit <laughs> trees. So as you try to look down, maybe you can see. It's probably a little too hard into the sun. You probably can't see this morning, but uh, I grow about a dozen fruit trees. Um, I also have a neighbor that has fruit trees not too far from me. He does not take care of them. Um, so I'm hoping that this year he might do a little something for them. I guess we got to go talk to him again. Because what happens if you got fruit trees that are near you within 500 feet, and these are like 100 feet away, <laughs> less than that actually, and much bug protection you do in yours, those bugs are going to come right over. I do use a lot of organic methods. They did seem to help somewhat, but uh, I know there's a lot more I could get out of them, but we'll keep working at it. That's the challenge for the year as far as that last year. Would you, and we can go get more bird, bird seed, would you do yeah. anything different for 2019? Um, I probably would, uh, definitely as far as gardening, I definitely did better with the strawberries. So continue working on that and getting that better. Um, blueberries, hopefully those get better. Definitely the black raspberries, I'm trying to get those guys to do, um, to do better. Um, as far as get a better crop out of them. That seems to be an ongoing challenge to get the right nutritional level, but I'll use the Gardens Alive. They have a fertilizer for blueberries. That's that's actually developed just for, I'm sorry, for black raspberries, for raspberries, so we'll do that. And then of course the blueberries are in the same category. They give fertilizer for that too, but really the raspberries, um, just continue, give them good nutrition, trim them properly, and uh, learn how to do it better than that. What about your plans for 2019 or any goals? Yeah, well, 2019, the goals would be as far as YouTube, get a better, uh, we're gonna come up and I'm gonna come up and stack some wood now, actually. Um, probably get some better as far as video, get a little better as far as taking uh, uh, video shots, um, get a little better on the YouTube. I guess that's something working in the editing department, which is uh, my wife, Linda. <laughs> and of course, Jen, who's holding the camera, will probably teach us some new, newer techniques. Uh, as far as preparing the videos. Uh, and then as far as other goals would be as far as in gardening, um, really just keep, keep what we're doing. I mean, I've got, I've got a system, follow the system, um, and hopefully other people will be inspired to do what we do as far as being simple in our gardening. And oh, the other challenge to better, do better is bees. We keep losing hives, I'm down to two right now. So hopefully those bees can be uh, come more um, Perfect this year as far as mite control, so do a better job of treating for mites. And who are your inspirations for 2018? Oh, let's say you're probably my daughter, Jen. Aww. <laughs> as far as YouTube, yeah. But uh, definitely uh, other, other channels. Um, I definitely think uh, uh, 
what's it called? Let me see my note here. Yeah, you have your notes here. I forgot a second. Hold a second here. <laughs> um, Bill's allotment, two sides of heaven. I just like their whole uh, demeanor of how they run their garden. They do, they do a great job. Um, and of course, a lot of other, um, some of the bigger garden channels would be Miranda, a gardener. I've learned a lot of good tips from him. Um, but that's, you know, that's probably some of the people that probably inspire me to do better. And then, of course, my relationship with God is number one. And that's my inspiration all the way through this all. And as you in garden in nature, you just realize this doesn't happen by accident. This is a creation of God. And it's great to be a part of it and uh, to encourage other people to learn more things in what's, you know, what has been created for us to enjoy. And um, with that, um, any thoughts or things you want to put in there, Jen? You want to, you want to flip around? I and get sure do. Here? You can have me stack some wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have you stack oh, some boy. wood. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Hold a second here. Oh yeah. Oh man. Okay. I don't even have my mittens. Well, oh, you don't. You don't need mittens. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, hey. Okay. So you got to ask me the questions now. So, as far as what things they could do different for 2019. Be on your channel more, of course. There we go. Oh, absolutely, of, yeah. Of course. So what kind of things do we want to do? Um, In the kitchen. In the kitchen more? Okay. I think we're going to have some fun. I mean, we were talking about we're going to go to the farmer's market um, mm, Saturday. Yes, Saturday, yep, yep. And so I think exploring a little bit more of the agriculture in New England. So whether we go to a farm stand or maybe we even, whores of all whores, go pick our own somewhere. I think it would be fun to take your followers on the road with us yeah oh that'd be an awesome idea yeah definitely and so even though you grow most of what we'll see at the farmer's market and you have it available still to us it'll be fun to take them along and show them what other people do what, exactly yeah and uh maybe do something with a uh, maple maple um syrup production coming up here that's coming we're taking up. to a producer that would be a blast yeah. so i think a little bit more on the road show them yeah. the beauties of the new england area that'd be great awesome super um Anything that you think I should do different this next year? Um, I like your idea of getting off the GoPro more okay. and showing your face a little bit more. And I think a little more on the production as well. So like we have talked about giving a little tease before your trailer yeah. intro, give a little tease about what the video is like and then go in to and the that, actual and that's video. Something that's train mom how to do as far it's as easy. all this she just, knows how to do it she just gotta give her a little refresher <laughs> and give her a little direction as far as that right yeah. beautiful okay um how about uh as far as your own personal goals as far as uh i know you have a, a great um following on instagram yes well my biggest goal with that is to reach 100,000 followers this year okay so where are you at right now i'm at 35 35,000 i've tripled every year Okay. So it's an obtainable goal. So we okay. started last year at 10,000 and we started the year before at 3,000. Okay. So I've been able to triple. It's a big one. Yeah. I think we can do it. All right. I super. Think so. Super. And you're going to start linking up more products on our I site? I am. Okay. I think there, as your followers grow, I think there's going to be an interest in what it is exactly you do use. It's worked mm -hmm. for you. Right. And I think your followers could benefit from it. So we'll be linking up a lot more in the description for what the exact products are we're using. Great. Or he's using. Super, yeah. And actually, celebration, I'm at uh, 500 subscribers. Yay! And, and thank you. Um, actually, beyond that now. But uh, thank you for those of you who have been very faithful and watching us continually. And also for those people that uh, are new coming on, appreciate your coming on, subscribing to our channel. And um, hey, this my, is supposed to be my time talking. You have me standing over here working. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we'll continue on. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing to my channel. <laughs> that's right. I need the next question. Yeah, the next question is um, where are we at here? Hold on a second here. Um, who, who, who was your inspiration for 2018? Um. I don't know. I don't. I think my inspiration for anything I do with the social media, the gardening, is mm -hmm. that I've always loved being in front of a camera. Yeah. Big I know. shocker there. Right? <laughs> and so my inspiration is always like the TV shows, the Create Channel, the even the old ones. Like you always talk about Victory Garden, and I've watched the reruns of that. Yeah. So those TV shows that are just relatable. Yeah. And so that's always my inspiration, not to be, you know, this big production, but just to be relatable and to make you feel like you're just hanging out with us. Yeah. You're coming along for the journey and hopefully learning a few things. Exactly. I know I learn things from my daddy all the time. <laughs> um, so I think that's my inspiration for 2018 right. and moving into 19, 19 as well. Yeah, we're all, we're all into it, aren't we? Absolutely. And in fact, I'll be starting my seedlings uh, next weekend, my first lettuce seeds. 
But um, awesome. Um, you can just kind of swing back around. You have maybe to ask both. me about your garden. I have ideas oh, for what oh, worked well, and what didn't let's work. Let's go. Let's move about the garden. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, so what worked were the peas. You moving yeah. those peas and doing those edge rows around your strawberries. How's my strawberry beds are all filled up? <laughs> I know. We planted strawberries, peas next to strawberries. Did phenomenal. Well, I think that what you need to do is you need to plant less broccoli. Oh, I love broccoli. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and replace it with some more peas. Okay. So that's what I would do differently okay. in 2019. More, more peas, yeah. I mean, I see spot you could like grow a whole bed of peas. Oh, like you, you could put in a new bed just for peas. Oh, I'm up to 23 beds. I don't know if I get more room. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's one more bed? Yeah, well, we, have to, we have to get a fine spot for our um, our um, sugar pumpkins this year, new area. So yeah. I'll, I think I'll do grow a bag for that. So I definitely think that's what worked, was growing me more peas. And what didn't work, um, yeah, those Brussels sprouts, that was a yeah, disappointment. Yeah, yeah. When you came to, I'm going to tell a story. Hold on. Okay. So I'm... I'm hosting Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving morning, daddy, or the night before, dad's like, you're doing Brussels sprouts. Great, I have some for you. Just use what I have. Now I've already been to the store to get, you know, Brussels sprouts. Good move. <laughs> he shows up with this little pint. Now, now granted this is for like eight people. And he shows up with this little pint of these itty bitty, tiny little <laughs> drops. Drops, yeah. And he's like, here. It was a sacrifice. This. It was a really good thing I didn't listen no, to you and I bought my no, own. I know, I know. It's, that's... So that was a flop this year. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll get better. We'll figure it out. Okay. Absolutely. I want to do a couple of, I guess it's getting a little late to do this, but let's go ahead and put them on there. Um, I'm going to yeah, flip we... it around to you. Yeah, you yeah. Go, go back to yep. doing some work. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is the most I think you've done your whole life. I think so too. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I think... Um, other people to be nominated, well, like I said, Prairie Girl nominated me to do this um, best stuff for 2018, and we'll put the questions on the bottom of our um, of our of our comment section, not comment section. What do you call that? Review. You're right. Uh, des uh, description. Description. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put out to a Massachusetts Prepper, see what he has up to. In fact, he just started doing stuff for uh, big time into beekeeping, like a lot. So, and then of course his gardening that he does too. Uh, Louisiana gardening. Um, great guy. He includes his family in it, and uh, I really like his just his character and his spirit. Uh, and then Kara Crandall, she's on the West Coast, and uh, just to see what she has planned for this year also. So appreciate everybody. I know it's a little longer video this time, but hopefully you enjoyed it. It was fun, and uh, we'll be uh, at the farmers market this week, and we'll use some insights of that. And what's coming out of that is going to be a leek potato soup, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Hint. I got the leeks in the garden, but we're going to pretend we're buying at the farmer's market. We'll show them that it's available at the, it's available winter's, at the farmer's farmer's winter's farmer's market. market. It's a winter Absolutely. vegetable. Absolutely. It's a good, it's a good winter vegetable, yeah. but we have them. Alrighty. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.